31 years old. He's here because he needs the money. I'm done fighting. I don't need it anymore. Look, Mick, nobody's got heart like you. You're a very talented fighter. I want to give you a real shot. Make one last run at this thing before it's too late. We're going to train. They got to go. Why am I the problem? I'm his blood. I'm his family. I'm the one fighting. Not you, not you, and not you. The fighter is about a boxer named Mickey Ward who overcomes a lot of adversity and struggles within his own family, notably from his mother and his former boxing champion and current crackhead brother, Dickie, to finally gain a shot at the world title during the twilight of his career. The film centers on the rise of Ward, or the progression of his fighting career, um, and simultaneously the decline of his half-brother, Dickie uh, Eklund. Some have called this just not a boxing movie, uh, but those people are wrong. This movie is more about the family and the community that Ward comes from. And, and kind of capturing the authenticity of that. The performances were just absolutely amazing. Melissa Leo is completely deserved of all the recognition she's been receiving as of late for her performance as Alice, the mother of both Dickie Eklund and Mickey Ward. I have done everything. Everything I could for you, Mickey. Melissa Leo did a really good job as the uh, imposing and the controlling mother, Alice Ward. I honestly, I didn't really feel like her performance ever placed her at the center of the movie. Ask him, George. Ask him if he would have won Sanchez without his brother. Yeah, pretty much right, right? No, I wouldn't have won Sanchez if it wasn't for Dickie. Mark Wahlberg did a, a good job in a role he barely had to act in, um, as he comes from a very similar background to Mickey Ward. Um, but he succeeded in not being a distraction. I know what I need. And you need Dickie? I want Dickie back. And I want you, Charlene. And I want O'Keefe. I want my family. What's wrong with that? The sequences are, re are really painful to watch, but they're raw and real. And I think that's really a testament to the devotion that Mark showed to the role. Christian Bale catches a lot of flack for being an intense guy um, off the stage, but I think he was perfect for this role. Um, a really intense, a big personality, and an addictive personality. One thing about the whole cast you'll notice is Boston accents are so notoriously hard to nail down, and they all spot on have them perfect, perfected. Um, especially Welsh-born Christian Bale. He absolutely knocks out the Boston middle-class persona and the uh, accent to go along with it without seeming cliche at all. What's your plan? How are you going to fight Sanchez? How are you going to talk about that? What's your plan? I am not here to plan? talk about what? that. Yes, you are. You really get the sense throughout the whole movie that everybody can see what he's doing wrong, except him. You gotta run against this guy. Let him punch himself out. Take him to the body, right? Get inside, switch stances like you're gonna work his right. Hit him on the left. You ain't me. All right, you can't be, be me. Careful. You had a hard enough outside. time being you when you had your chance, and that's why you're in here. I really didn't think Amy Adams had the grit to play this role, honestly. As the world weary bartender um, slash girlfriend, but she really sold me on the character. I have to say that I think she was completely overshadowed by um, Melissa Leo's complete powerhouse performance. Mick, what's the problem? The problems. What problems? What problem? Problems. What like problems? what? Like maybe you not showing up on time to train. Like maybe him having to come find you in a crack house when you're supposed to be at the airport. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. Why are you talking? I think one of the strengths that this film really has going for it, and I think this is a testament to Russell as well, is its gritty realism. You really do get a feel for Lowell, Massachusetts and its people and um, just exactly where... Dickie and Mickey are coming from. David O. Russell, the director of this movie, did a really, really good job of shifting its focus away from boxing, uh, which revealed a very authentic depiction of working class life um, that's that everybody can relate to. In terms of gritty realism, the set design is phenomenal, from Melissa Leo's tacky kitchen to the sisters' terrible outfits. Um, everything just feels like it would be. These aren't, you know, Scarlett Johansson playing the sisters. These are real women. This MTV girl comes along. 
Yeah, stop calling me an MTV girl, whatever that means. Yeah. Wild. If you're looking for a, a quality film, I would go see The Fighter. I would definitely recommend everyone go see The Fighter. Overhyped or not, it's a must for this year. And it's got to be better than most of the movies that are currently out there right now. You, you could walk away from this movie with a better understanding of how a great number of Americans live their lives. They're centered on immediate family and community life. I would recommend this movie. Young Mickey Y. Young Mickey Y.